So Rockset is a search and analytics database that provides low latency response time over real time data. This is the fifth video in the Rockset database internal series and in this one we will design a system that we all wish to implement someday, a real time gaming leaderboard. Instead of directly jumping the gun, we will understand how to design such systems, the right intuition behind it, the read write path separation framework and the final architecture that you can ship straight to production. But before we begin, I would highly recommend you to check out other four videos of the series, although they are not a prerequisite for this one, but I have done a very interesting deep dive of Rockset. You would find it really amusing. Okay, now let's go deeper into designing gaming leaderboard. Now, gaming leaderboard is a very good use case because gaming where millions and billions of events are ingested in a system and it's a pretty data intensive application. And the best part or the most interesting part of this is the whatever response is expected is expected with ultra low latency. Why? Because people are playing game and they need to see whatever you are doing right there and then. Leaderboard is one such use case. Leaderboard is where let's say you are playing a game. You want to see who is first, who is second, who is third based on score, wins, time plates, a bunch of parameters split by multiple windows, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, lifetime, whatnot, and group by in a particular region or a private group or a city or a match or a competition. So many criteria. Now you need to solve all this problem with very low latency. How do you design such a system? Now, before we go directly into designing and looking at the architecture, let's just take a step back to understand what are our core requirements. And then we'll see how a bunch of databases or a bunch of design decisions we make fit into the scheme of things. First one, we need the real time player activity, which means there should not be any lag when the event came and when it is available for query. This is the most important requirement. So whatever is getting ingested needs to be available, almost immediately available for query. So almost zero lag. Right? Second is we need to support low latency aggregations and joins. As we saw that we can have aggregations across time, various groups and multiple such aggregations. All of this needs to be done in a very low latency fashion right? because that's what the gaming industry is all about. And whatever we are doing needs to be scalable for millions of concurrent users at its peak. Right? These are the three key requirements for the system. Let's go into how do we do what we do. You would say that, hey, the most important requirement is we need minimal data latency, which means leaderboard needs to be built on top of live data. You may think, hey, easy, right? I'll have one database, my transactional system, where I'm ingesting the data and I'm querying on it. Let's say that is MySQL. Right? So you ingest the data and you query the data from the same node. It's absolute real time because that is what your source of truth is and that is what you are querying. Right? So this is great, but is this scalable? Not really, because you can either ingest the data or you can query both of this scaled from one database. Not, not a good thing because your storage and compute part of the same node, high ingestion, which means it would affect the query and large amount of query would affect the ingest. So not a good idea. Second option is you'd say, Hey, if this doesn't work, let me create replicas. So you would say, Ki, ha, replica seems nice that my events are getting ingested in master. I would have an asynchronous replication setup, which would go to replica right? and I'll serve my leaderboard queries to replica. Right? Although this looks like a good idea, but it suffers from a problem. It suffers from the problem that typically asynchronous replication that you set up, these two databases are of same type. So if one is DynamoDB, the other one is also DynamoDB. If one is MySQL, other is also MySQL. The problem with this is the database you choose for your transactional workload is typically suitable for your transactional workload and not for your aggregations. For example, if you choose DynamoDB as your main transactional DB where you are storing all the information, all the events, in that case, DynamoDB is not so good with aggregation queries. So if we do a synchronous replication, the other database also is typically DynamoDB. In that case, how do you do it? It's not optimized for aggregation queries. So which is where what we are looking for is a database which is very highly proficient in supporting different types of aggregations with very low latency. That is what would help us power leaderboard queries while a transactional system is suitable for transactional use case, ingesting a lot of events, the real time events and storing the actual source of truth data. So let's start with designing the system. Imagine we have, we are building a game, which is a real time quiz where you have tournaments has quizzes, users, questions and answers given by the user. 
and what we are doing is we are just logically defining this to be stored such as one tournament has multiple quiz each quiz has multiple questions each question is answered by a certain user and you are storing all this information in a database and we choose DynamoDB for this DynamoDB because single digit millisecond at any scale that is the crux of a link that's the highlight of DynamoDB and we all we want to do is just whenever user clicks on something or uh, basically picks an option we just want to record the submission so it's literally a key value update for us for this quiz for this user for this question the response given was this so our flow would be you would have an admin which builds through an admin service or an admin console creates the quizzes creates the question creates the tournament and it makes those entries in the dynamo db and whenever user is interacting with it it's going and ingesting and storing it in DynamoDB. DynamoDB, given it's managed, it's highly available. It gives you snapshots, you can store it, archival, archival, everything it offers you. Plus, the best part is single digit millisecond latency whenever you are querying it. What you're not good at it is aggregation or complex queries, which is where you got a lot of benefits, you have to lose something. So DynamoDB is not so good with aggregation, which is where what we need is we need another system that is highly optimized for aggregation with almost zero latency ingestion and almost real time, which means data which is ingested is immediately available for query with, with strong support for aggregation. This is where we will leverage Rockset. It gives you all this thing that I just mentioned. So Rockset gives you low latency aggregation. We need real time ingestion. Rockset offers you that. We need scalable compute and storage so that workload of one does not affect like the high query load should not affect the storage, which is what we need. We need managed with zero operation over it. Rockset, right? And the best part is Rockset has integrations with DynamoDB and a lot of and a lot of transactional systems. So with just two clicks, you can set up the data getting ingested in DynamoDB be available in Rockset. So which is where our architecture looks something like this. It's dead simple. You have your typical admin interface, which uses which creates the tournaments and quizzes and whatnot in DynamoDB. You have bunch of APIs which are there, which is user submission APIs when I'm answering questions and whatnot, goes and stores in my transactional system. Now what I want is from my DynamoDB, I want this data to be available for leaderboard queries. So this DB, the, the changes, you can just create a simple integration on Rockset with DynamoDB and the data gets continuously ingested in Rockset. Now Rockset being managed and scalable, you don't have to do much with that. And there's a native integration for Rockset. Rockset keeps on tailing the DynamoDB to pick the changes and it keeps ingesting and making it available for query. Now, because Rockset offers very low latency, all of your leaderboard queries will be powered through Rockset. Right? So this is where you can clearly see the read path and the write path. The write path is when user is, is, is doing an activity, go, get stored in DynamoDB. From DynamoDB, it's tailed and gone to Rockset. This is the write path. Right. And in case of Rockset, given that in the series, we talk about how Rockset is built. This is where we are actually seeing how to use it in production. Right. So with the right path, your data is immediately available for query in Rockset. Right. And we know how it does internally. Right. And on the read side, whatever your leaderboard, whatever you want to fire, because Rockset is great with aggregations, join or, or rather aggregate main aggregations across multiple parameters with very low latency, all of your leaderboard queries can be fired through Rockset. And if you have multiple such use cases, you can have different compute nodes, you can have compute isolations and power multiple types of leaderboards through multiple compute nodes on Rockset with ease. And this is how, and this is basically the architecture you can literally ship to production. This is the beauty of using managed offering because business, product, engineering. Right? Although we went into the engineering details of Rockset, but when you're shipping things to production, you are solving a customer problem. You wanted to show leaderboards, find the best way or the easiest and the fastest way to ship it to production. This is that. Right? You use managed offering DynamoDB, you use managed offering Rockset, native integration, low latency aggregation, Rockset gives you this. This very simple, with this very simple architecture scales pretty well because of power of Rockset and DynamoDB. And this is how you design a real time gaming leaderboard, which you can literally ship to production with ease, like on day zero. Right? which is scalable and whatnot. So I would highly recommend you to check them out. Uh, this is the power of, have, of using the right tool at the right place. Right? And that is the speciality of database, which is why I love this domain. Right? 
right? And if you are like me, you would also would have fallen in love with the database and data analytics as a domain, right? So please, yeah, so yeah, do 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 check Rockset and DynamoDB internals out. They are pretty amazing, and I've linked all of them in the i card in the video, right? And this is what I wanted to cover as part of designing designing a real time gaming leaderboard. I hope you found it interesting. Hope you found it amazing. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Thank you.